Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Dead Rising playthrough. In this part, uh, we, having just beaten Steven, are going to go and bring back the medicine to Brad. But he probably doesn't need it, like, right away, right? Like, we can dick around with the shopping cart first a little bit, I'm sure. Can't we? Absolutely. Perfect. Also, yes, I do take pictures of dead bodies. No, that's not weird. Why do you ask? Also, what heals you in this game makes no sense to me. Because you get healed more by, like, eating raw meat than you do by eating bread. Which is not how... That's not how these things work. I should just point out. It's, it's how they work in video games. Which is the important part. I mean, granted, like, eating food doesn't heal you, period. But, oh my god... Dude, it's so rude to grab the first aid kit that we're trying to save Brad's life with. Man. <laughs> I know you have something important to do, but don't interrupt me. The worst part is, is that he starts all over again. Like, he starts his he starts his little spiel all over again. I like how he picks up the cart. Well, you can... It depends on how you're going about things. Like, because you can... It's a little bit awkward, actually, to get him to pick up the cart versus pushing it because sometimes you want to pick up the cart so you can go up the stairs or bring it into another room but other times you want to be pushing it so that you can like actually take advantage of it being pretty freaking rad <laughs> all things considered like I love this stupid thing how uh, good we're playing Marvel vs. Capcom now it's like what is level 3 super or something like that something like that yeah Anyway, I don't know why I'm... <laughs> what I'm trying to do here. Oh, I'm trying to push it into... Oh, here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to point That's it so that I can <laughs> can just ram it straight out. There we go. Ooh, man. I'm, they never have shoes my size. So, uh, this is actually one of the harder... Uh, sur pair of survivors to save. Because it's actually possible to screw up and get both of them killed before you even try to escort them back to the uh, to the security room. So basically, the way that it works is is that like Tonya and her boyfriend Ross, he got injured at some point. Ross says something to the effect of "Go on without me. I'm too injured. I don't want to drag down my girlfriend." And he says. Give me a gun, though, because I want to go out fighting. You can agree to what he says and give him the gun, but what he does then is he shoots himself in the head and dies, and then um, Tanya at that point mutinies against you immediately, and then she is... I don't remember if she attacks you specifically, but she's then... You're not able to save her at that point. So yeah. you can't... I think you just have to talk to her enough to to get her to keep on going. Like, you just have to ignore what Ross says and don't give him the gun. Effectively. Dude, how are you making that happen where all this stuff just forms in your hand like that? <laughs> this dialogue goes on for forever. <laughs> how are you doing that? <laughs> I'm magical dressed teddy bear, man. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I rule over China. Oh, it has to be the pistol, though, I think. You can't give him, like, a shotgun, because that doesn't work. Are you nuts? Huh. What? <laughs> you've never seen... You've never seen... Sorry. You've never seen Dressed Teddy Bear Man before? <laughs> I'm the city's superhero. No wonder no one's heard of your, your, your town. Tanya, you can't be picky about who saves you, okay? Listen, I know that a... Dressed teddy bear wielding a shotgun isn't something you expect to see every day. But at the <laughs> same time... I'm a very progressive superhero for 2006, okay? <laughs> Alright, we got you to join us, teddy bear, teddy bear dressed man. Away! Unfortunately, <laughs> though, she doesn't pick up guns, which makes tr getting her back extremely annoying. Because you also have to carry Ross on your back. So you can't protect her. <laughs> you basically just have to put Ross down whenever you need to do anything. Okay, 
Oh my god, Otis, now is like exactly <laughs> the wrong time. Oh, don't cut me off. It's so rude. Oh, I'm so sorry, Otis. I'm so sorry I was being rude. Sorry about that, Ross. Teddy Bear Dress Man has to take this call. <laughs> you got this. You're fine. It's like the, the bat signal, only if it was a walkie-talkie. <laughs> yeah, so taking them back is absolutely annoying. And it gets worse if you're trying to go for a different survivor at the same time. Because I think it is possible to go for the four survivors with the... Um, with the hardware store guy at this point, but trying to fit that all into that specific time frame is almost impossible, so I take two trips. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> I actually edited in that. <laughs> Come on. Teddy Bear Dress Man is a big fan of Pokemon. <laughs> what is the best bike music for Pokemon, and why is it Gen 5? Gen 5 is really good, yeah. Yeah, Gen 2 and Gen 5 are my favorites. I actually don't really like the Gen 1 version very much. Although, part of that is due to the fact that the bike music just never turns off, and you're just hearing it the entire time you're on the bike, which is somewhat Never be a annoying. citizen. Dress Teddy Bear Man is here. I'm not a monster. I'm just a guy who wears a teddy bear outfit. Oh, <laughs> make fun of my outfit, will you? All right, then. Oh, okay, look. Make fun of my outfit one more time. <laughs> I, 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 I swear. Again, that's a lot of blood to be spilled over a cardboard box. Hey, man, don't mess with the paper cut, all right? That stuff can, <laughs> that can like, bleed a whole, like, four, maybe five drops on the, on the table before you wrap it up, all right? It's like... It's a lot of blood. Oh, I mean, okay, now that I'm looking at it, that's like enough blood to make you go unconscious if you lose that much <laughs> at once. <laughs> Don't worry, Dust Teddy Bear Man will protect you. <laughs> Shoot them for me. Every time I get to this point, the elevator is always crowded, and what I like to do is, like, I'll get my guy, like, right up to the elevator door, and then I'll, like, open it, and then immediately beeline for the key. Like, e immediately beeline for, like, the elevator switch. Yeah, and then, okay, all the zombies are just gone. They got off at yeah. floor six, you know. Yeah, the zombies and... are just completely gone, and then you can just, and you and your friend are fine. It's like, okay. <laughs> he stabilized. I don't know how he got stabilized. We literally just shoved Fruit Loops in his mouth. Are you all right? But, you know. You have blood on you. I have lots of I have lots of things on me. <laughs> no, it wasn't Fruit Loops. It was Golden Crisps. <laughs> who, who in their right mind gets Golden Crisps if you're not like a seventy year old though? Cross Teddy Bear Man does it. It's like the people who get just plain old Corn Flakes instead of Frosted Flakes. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Santa Cabeza. As opposed Metal to the, regu gear. <laughs> the regular Santa. Dr. Barnaby, you're awake. I had this terrifying dream. There was a, a man with a bear head <laughs> staring <laughs> over a flamboyant me. dress. I thought Santa Cabeza was over and done with. At the very least, I never have to see that terrible outfit ever again. <laughs> I'm acting! <laughs> Nobody in this game is trying. Like, honestly, I think Frank's actor is probably the one that's trying the hardest, which is saying something. Because, like, Jesse here is not giving a crap, because she's talking like this the entire time. Am I right? <laughs> oh, were you guys in the in the middle of something? Sorry, I'll 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 take a minute. <laughs> Dress teddy bear man's in voyeurism and knows no bounds. Does Frank always have that tattoo, regardless what you're wearing, or is it just with this dress? Uh, the red on his arm. I think that's the blood she was talking about. Oh, I think that's might be foreshadowing overtime mode. Where, like, Frank suddenly is infected, even though theoretically you could get through the entire game without ever getting hit by a zombie. 
So mm-hmm. I guess, like, honestly, I'm surprised they even, if that is what they're doing, I'm surprised they even thought that far ahead. Yeah, so I think this is another, like, little dead point where you're just expected to... Oh, God, Pamela. Oh, God, Pamela. Trying to save Pamela is practically impossible. Um, because, like, she's in there. I think she's got some of the lowest health of any survivor. And a lot of the time, you might be coming in here with other survivors from the other half of the store. And if you do, then she's basically just good as toast. Pamela, you need some OJ. Stat. <laughs> <laughs> also, the game, like, stutters if you if you kill too many zombies at one time. Oh, yeah. It was a 2006 game handling lots of different uh, characters on screen. Also, this is another one of the more annoying po- points because these two characters need to... are scripted to hug each other when they see get close to each other at a certain point. But their AI is bad, so they screw up. A uh, Pamela, what are you? Pamela, doing? is she trying to drown herself? I, I. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, are you? Uh... Pamela, there's a bigger swimming pool later. Let's go. She doesn't want to get her feet wet. Is the other thing, and Pamela doesn't want to climb up. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I am actually, I am actually kicking Heather, Heather down because it's faster than trying to get her out the door. <laughs> I just love the bluntness of that kick sound effect. Just poof. <laughs> oh, Pam. Pam. Pammy. There. Th- thank you. <laughs> the soppy fell over. Also, oh, apparently, man. you take a picture specifically of her belly button ring, which is a little weird. But is that erotica? Yeah, it's erotica. Also, I specifically need to get the... I specifically need to keep them alive at this point because I also have to do uh, Kent's photo challenge right now, so I don't have enough time to take them back to the... <laughs> take them back to the... to the security room. <laughs> All those rolling heads down the stairs. I love the, the... They don't have, like, true ragdoll physics in this game, but it's close enough, and I love it. Uh-huh. Okay, go in there where it's safe. Girls, please go in there where it's safe. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, time to drink my infinite orange juice. So good. It's probably expired by day three of this, <laughs> of the of being in the mall. But you know what? Whatever. Hey, Ken. Oh! <laughs> that was on purpose, because fuck you. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't remember how you're supposed to know that you're supposed to give him an erotica picture. I I think maybe if you, like, examine the... If you examine... Oh, what's that thing called? Like, the, the quest log or something like that, then you might get it, but... I don't think I ever did that when I was playing the game. Although, to be fair, I didn't even finish Kent's first mission the first time I played, so I didn't have access to his second or third one. Beginner's luck. That's all. <laughs> she didn't resist. Beginner's luck. <laughs> oh my god, jeez. <laughs> Are you trying to say that she just let you take a picture of her skirt? Man, a true photographer really, like, invades her personal space. <laughs> Hold on, with that outfit you're wearing. Hold on, I'm going to get an erotica picture of you, Frank. What? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the secret, Kent. When you dress like this, you can get any kind of picture you want. 